The BK Connect platform includes a lot of flexibility. What comes along with that flexibility is the potential for complexity. And there are many times when our testing needs do not require the unlimited configurability, but rather only the tools required to just get the job done. And that's what an applet offers, the tools to just get the job done. The fundamental difference between most of the applets are simply the types of analysis that can be performed. And an applet really is designed to provide you with the complete testing solution from data acquisition and measurement to recording analysis and ultimately reporting. So let's take a quick walk through the basics of the FFT, CPP, and overall analysis app. If we start off looking in the project browser, what we can see is we have multiple setups, one for the FFT, the CPB, and overall analysis for stationary measurements, and then the same thing for non-stationary analysis. Here in the standard processing setup, if I select any element within the process chain, I can go through and adjust any of the analysis parameters that I think are necessary, such as the frequency span or number of lines to be able to perform my analysis. If we assume that everything is set up correctly, I can use the done management to move on to make my measurements. I have a little electric motor sitting here on my desk that I'm just gonna turn on. I have uh, a triaxial accelerometer and a microphone, and I can simply hit start to make a recording. Once this is uh, run for a little bit, I can stop that recording. The data will automatically be loaded and analyzed. So let me just change the speed of the recording so we can have some different looking results when we compare that data. Uh, so we've run for, for a couple of seconds. I can stop that. And you can see now the data has automatically been populated into the displays. And we can see the results from my two different recordings. And if we think these results look just like I want them to, I can click uh, the report button and these three displays are going to be sent off to my report for doing the stationary analysis. So it takes a couple of seconds for these displays to be populated into the report. And we can see that message along the bottom of the screen where it says filling data. Now that that's done, I can decide what the next step I want to do is. Uh, using the done management, I can simply move to the next style of analysis, which might be CPB analysis. So these two recordings that we had just made are here and ready to go. So I can simply select those and now perform CPB style of analysis. So maybe for this one, we want to look at the microphone data. And if this shows something that I find interesting, I can send this off to the report as well. If I had found the vibration data here interesting as well, I can simply select those displays after the data has been populated into the report. Uh, so I can maybe select two or all of those displays again, and maybe we'll send this off to the report as well. And once that's done, we can use the done management here in order to move to this report that we had just made. Once we're in the report, we'll see we have a PowerPoint presentation here with a cover page that I created for this stationary report. And then we should have a couple of pages in the report, one for our FFT data. We'll have one for our, uh, our sound pressure level data for our CPB results. And then same thing for our vibration data. Now from here, you might say, now I want to go through and do some non-stationary analysis. So I can again use the done management to move to uh, my non-stationary analysis template, or setup rather. And here we can see I've got my FFT signal versus time. And I can go through and look at any of the analysis parameters and make sure that this is set up like I want. Maybe we'll do three averages instead of one. And now if I'm satisfied with that, I can move on to now starting to make my recordings. Uh, for this, I'm going to just simply uh, vary the speed of the electric motor a little bit. So let me start that up running again. Now we'll, we'll kind of cycle the, the RPM of the motor so we can see some non-stationary analysis here. Uh, these are our, going to be a contour plot of an FFT versus time, and hopefully we'll be able to, to see some variation in our spectrum. So the recording has been loaded. Now, rather than using the automatic analysis, this time I'll, I'll hit the start button myself. And here we can see the vibration data, the contour plots for our vibration data. And maybe we, we want to look at just one of them, or maybe we, we do want to look at multiple. And ultimately, we can send this data off to a different report. So you might envision that you're doing stationary and non-stationary analysis uh, on different types of data, and you don't want necessarily to include that all in the same report. You could, of course, do that. Uh, but for this example, I'm going to use separate reports. 
So I'll move to my currently active report. And here we'll see our non-stationary template. And we should see a different cover page. In addition to the different cover page, we'll now also see our contour plots here in the report. So now in this example, we've gone through and we've made different styles of analysis. So here's our contour plots inside of our PowerPoint presentation with my cover page that says non-stationary analysis. So we've now kind of navigated our way through making standard FFT measurements and CPB measurements and populated that data into one report. Now we've gone through and uh, performed some non-stationary analysis using our FFT versus time and also populated that data into the report. And we can see here, um, we're looking at our non-stationary report, but I can also simply switch right here within BK Connect to our stationary report template. And once we've kind of completed looking at what we want to do uh, within the report, I can simply bring the office menu up and save this like any other PowerPoint report. So that's kind of the walkthrough of the basics of using uh, any one of our applets. Uh, this one was again our FFT, CPB, and overall style of analysis. Thank you.